Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our test project video series. And in this video, we're talking about test project version 3.0's all new parallel test execution feature. So test project parallel execution is an all new feature introduced in version 3.0 and it is very powerful feature. It takes your test automation a huge leap forward by reducing the testing time significantly. And this is the only platform at the moment which has parallel execution capability for free without limitation. And that's exactly what we'll be discussing in this particular video. Well, before actually starting to talk about this parallel execution and how we can create it, let's try to understand some of the scenarios where we really require the parallel execution. For example, we may require our test to be running in parallel on a single browser, let's say Chrome browser, or we may require running our test in parallel on multiple different browsers, let's say Chrome, Firefox, or Edge Chrome browser, or Safari browser, something like that. Or there may be even further situation where we may be requiring running our test in parallel on single browser based on the data, and the data can have multiple different parameters in it. So if it has multiple parameters or if it has multiple set of data along with the parameter, then we might need to execute those tests in parallel as well. So like data driven testing, for example, if we have like 10 different sets of data, which we may need to execute in one single browser, the two in parallel, then we may use this option as well. So that's another scenario that we can think of executing tests in parallel. And finally, the last one, which is like combination of all the first three that we have seen. Running tests in parallel on multiple browsers based on multiple datas and running them in parallel, which is the most beast version of all the things that we have seen in first three of them. So these are these different scenarios that we can think of while executing our tests in parallel. And that's exactly what we'll be discussing in test projects and how we can achieve that. So let's see all these scenarios one by one once again and the time it takes so you can see that running a test on a single browser for example so the data driven testing that i have created for an exit automation app you can see that if i execute this test just with one test data and one single browser it's going to take like 17 seconds and it has got 16 steps to be executed as you can see over here and if i run the same test in parallel on multiple different browsers you can see now it has got around from 16 steps into three which means you can do the math and it is running on three different browsers like chrome edge chrome browser and firefox browser and you can see the duration it has taken is 19 seconds just 19 seconds and it has executed the test on three different browsers and then the next option which is running the test in parallel on single browser just on chrome browser or firefox browser or edge chrome browser based on a data so i have like four sets of data and as you can see over here i have got one two three four sets of data from the data source and it is running on just a chrome browser now it has got 64 steps and you can see the duration it has taken is around just 20 seconds just 20 seconds 17 into 4 because it has got four different tests so it should be around 68 seconds which is more than one minute whereas it has only took 20 seconds for execution and finally running tests in parallel based on like multiple data on multiple different browsers and as you can see it has got around 64 steps into three browsers which is crazy and then it is running on chrome edge chrome and firefox browsers and you can see all the data source and it has took just 45 seconds so apparently you should have just taken 45 seconds whereas you should have taken around 17 into 4 which is 68 seconds into three browsers which is 204 seconds if you divide by 60 for minutes cal comparison it should be around 3.4 minute whereas it has just took 45 seconds to execute the same test. So you can see that the test is now running in parallel pretty faster and it has reduced the tremendous amount of time. And how is this whole thing has been achieved with test project and how they could able to do this? Are they using anything like Selenium Grid or something like that? Well, no. So test project is actually using the test project's parallel task or also known as the agent worker and this is customized from the agent screen with maximum like 10 at the moment. 
So this is the test project's agent worker, which the test project calls, which is responsible for running the test in parallel on 10 different workers. Uh, and this is completely rela relying on your machine's speed, like processor speed and memory. Uh, based on that, it is going to run. And uh, if a machine is slow, then it is advisable to reduce the maximum workers to like three to five, because the more it goes, it's going to consume a lot of memory in your CPU, and then it's going to juice your machine's uh, processing power. Well, as I said, we have seen all these things at the moment. Let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to my test project platform. All right, so now I'm in my test project platform and I'm not really going to show you how to create a test and how you can add the data source for data driven testing and stuff, which is like we have discussed a lot of time. And today I'm directly going to show you how the parallel execution is going to happen and what are the different options which has come to test project itself. So if you just click this thing, like this is the normal test, which I'm going to show you like one single execution at the moment. So if I just select this guy, and if I'm going to run the test on the Chrome browser, so I'm just going to select this one and I'm just going to uh, use the same data that I have got. So you can see that it's a data driven testing. So it has shown showing all the different parameters. And if I just hit run, you could see that it is going to start running the test for us on just the Chrome browser. So this is just like one test with one a single data type and it is going to be running uh, on our just one browser, which is nothing but the Chrome browser. And as I told you, if you go to the report right now for this particular test, you could see that it has took around 18 seconds, whereas it was 17 seconds while I was take, running the same test before. And once again, it's gonna be fully depending on your machine's uh, speed and stuff. And I'm using Apple M1 uh, chipset, so based on the chip, the speed is going to vary and we'll see the power of M1 while we start executing it on uh, multiple different browsers and multiple different tests. And as I told you, this whole settings is actually coming up from the agent's configurations over here, like the maximum worker I have set to 10 at the moment. So if I change it to five, then even if you try running it like multiple browsers, same times like 10, uh, if you set to five, it is only restricted to five. It won't spawn uh, like 10 browsers same time. So I'm just going to uh, go with the maximum version, which is the 10. Uh, so it, it, you can't increase from 10 here, like 100 or something like that. All right. So now we are going to run the same test once again, but we are going to be running with two different browsers, uh, like, or maybe just one different, uh, one single browser. And we're going to override the data, uh, the data source, and we're going to run them in parallel. So this is the new option, which I was talking about. This was not there before. And now the test project has introduced this like serial, which was the one which was there for quite a long time from the day the portal was launched. But now we have the parallel execution and we can choose the data source as well. And then if I hit run this time, you will see that it is going to start running the test. And now it should open like four different browsers for us same time. So it is going to spawn all the different browsers for us in the same time. Let's wait and see what's going to happen. So you can see that there are like four browsers which has launched for me. And if I just go to the monitor over here, you can see that it just shows like one at the at the moment, but actually it's, it's running on uh, four different browsers same time like that. with multiple different datas. And once the test is fully executed, we can go to the report and you can see that it has take, took like 22 seconds, whereas it has executed over four different tests in multiple different datas that it has input at this time. So this is really, really cool because it could be able to achieve the same parallel execution operation using the data source option. And the next option which we'll be discussing is running the test in multiple different browser with just one single data. So once I hit this, you can see that it's going to show you the web browser over here. And then I'm going to choose the two browsers and then I'm going to hit next. But before doing that, you can also see that there is an option for mobile over here. So if I have the same test to be running or to be tested on a mobile browser, then I can do that as well. So at the moment, I am not connected with any of my devices with my agent, and that's why it is not showing any mobile. So if I have any Android uh, emulator or the iOS simulator or any physical device being connected, then I could able to run the test on the mobile as well, which is 
also possible using test project to run the test in parallel. But I'm not going to show the mobile option in this particular video. I'm just going to choose the web at the moment and I'm going to show you how to run the test just on the web browsers. So I'm just going to hit next and I'm going to choose the parallel option over here. And I'm not going to choose anything on the data source, which is the last option I'm going to show you next. And once I hit run, you can see that it is going to spawn the test on three different browsers this time. You can see Microsoft Edge, Firefox, and Chrome browsers. So you can actually see them all uh, something like this. You can see them, they're all just executing in parallel in three different browsers magically uh, using test project platform and the test projects agent and boom, all the tests are fully done and it's completed. So you can just go to the uh, report this time. And if we just go over here, you can see that it just took like 20 seconds to execute the same test with three different browsers, which is cool. And now the last option, which I was talking about, like the biggie option. So in order to do that, I'm actually gonna be doing, using the same test runner over here, or we can also create a job to do that. So what we can do is like, we can just select the web job over here. I'm gonna hit next. And I'm gonna say, uh, let's say parallel uh, job uh, execution, something like that. And I'm gonna hit next. And I can choose whatever test uh, browsers I need to be running uh, with like three different browsers. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna choose the parallel. And you can see that it brings you the same option that we saw over there. But instead of running the browser in parallel, I'm gonna choose run both the browsers and tests in parallel, which means it is gonna run the tests in parallel and the browsers in parallel same time. So if your test has got multiple different data, then it's gonna run in parallel as well. So I'm gonna choose that. I'm gonna hit create. And then I'm gonna drag this data-driven testing over here. So it just comes in. And now I can just hit this edit option and I'm gonna choose the data source this time so that I can show you the big feature which I was talking about. So I'm gonna choose the user data over here and then it asks you like, if this test fails, how to proceed? Do you wanna continue? Do you wanna skip to the next browser or end the job? I'm just gonna continue the test even if it fails, I don't care. And you can see that there is a new logo here which tells you that it's a parallel execution. And this time you can see that it is just one single test on three different browsers and it is gonna run with four different data sets. So let's try running this big option. So this is one of the dream for many testers to achieve this operation. And we can even tell this is like a load testing that we can actually do for our websites to see how it actually behaves during that particular execution point of time. So you can see uh, it is gonna start warming up everything and then it's gonna start running. And because I have set 10 threads initially, so it is gonna spawn around all the different browsers same time and then it's gonna start executing it. And you can see that it is gonna start running one by one like this. You can see that all the browsers are just coming up and they're all just coming like one by one based on uh, my machine's uh, speed as well, obviously. And I could see that the machine is really, really uh, doing well. And I don't see any performance glitch and the whole process is just completing without any problem. And I could also see that I could able to do a bit of load testing um, and even check the performance of our website while it happens to execute in multiple different browsers, which is cool. And you can see that the login is slowing down my, in my website because it is doing everything in parallel. So it opened the first 10 before, and then it is opening a few more afterwards. I think the total of like 12 because it has four tests and then it has got uh, three browsers. So four into three is 12. So totally like 12 browsers. So it's gonna be executing on 12 browsers. So let's see one by one how they do. All right, I think everything has been executed. So if I go to the test project right now and if I go to the monitor, uh, you can see there is no job running. So parallel job execution just happened. And if we go to the report, this guy 
and you can see that it has executed in three different browsers and each time it has executed in this data sources and the total time it took was around 1 minute 43 seconds i think it's because of my machine's performance as well and it changes based on the test execution that we do every time uh, so it's, it completely depends on how our machine's performance is and i could see that the test is actually executing without any problem and if you are thinking that you don't really want a job but if you just want to execute uh, just on the test without using the job feature then you can you can actually do that as well like you can choose all the three different browsers you can hit next and you can choose the parallel you can use uh, the data source or writing option and you can choose the user data and then you can hit run which means it's going to exactly do the same thing that we just saw on the job but the good thing about job is we can schedule the test to be executed on a particular point of time and we can also send an email once the job has been completed and we can also uh, set like different options on the uh, on the jobs which is more handy so that's why jobs are very very handy and apart from these test execution doing it from the ui based on test projects version 2.0's cli option we can also run the same thing that you are seeing on the over here on the test project cli as well that is also highly possible to do it from the test projects parallel execution so all these options that we are seeing on over here from the portal we can do from the test project cli as well and we can achieve the same parallel execution mechanism much much easily which we'll be discussing in our couple of videos next but at the moment we have got the first taste of how the parallel execution is happening in test projects version 3.0 that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video on hope the parallel execution feature is really really helpful for us to be used within our organization to test our application thank you